A lesson I would say I've learned in life is that what you see depends a lot on what you're looking for. I mean, if you're looking for good things, you'll find them. If you're looking for problems, you'll find them. And I think that applies in the spiritual realm as well. When I was a young fellow, you were often told that one way to remember the different kinds of prayer was the word acts, A-C-T-S. A stood for adoration, time spent worshipping God and praising God. C was for confession, talking to God about our sins, weaknesses, failings and asking him to help us do something about them. T was for thanksgiving, remembering the blessings. And S was for a big word, supplication or petition, asking for things. It's very helpful. When I was walking the dog last night, for some reason, an idea came into my head, which I've done something about, and I think it's going to help me. I thought to myself, in relation to thanking God for blessings, that I would like to designate a little notebook as a place where I would write down thanks to God for answered prayers. And so I've got it here. I've loads of these little notebooks about the place. So there it is. A record of thanks to God for answers to prayer. I think one of the reasons is I have had quite a lot of significant answers to prayer in recent days. But you know, it has made me think that possibly in the past I have had answers to prayer, but I didn't see them because I wasn't looking for them. You know, you can get into a negative frame of mind or even a critical spirit. And we often do reflect on the prayers that aren't answered and yes, that's something we've all struggled with and continue to struggle with. But I wonder if there are lots of prayers that have been answered, but somehow we haven't seen the answers because in a strange sort of way, we weren't looking for them. I think when we see that God has answered prayer, it lifts our faith. It doesn't only honour God, but it lifts our faith to another level and encourages us to pray. You know, I was reading the Bible story this week of where Jesus said to the disciples that they couldn't heal the boy because of their little faith. And he talked about faith as small as a grain of mustard seed. He says, if you have faith like that, you can move mountains. Nothing will be impossible for you. And I was talking to my fellowship group about this. We were studying it, how a mountain in the Bible tends to not just mean a big object, but something that stands in God's way. And that that little mustard seed of faith, within the context of the life of discipleship and what God wants us to do, we can do everything that we're called to do as disciples. So I do love writing things down. I do love making lists. But I've already got a couple of pages filled here within the last 24 hours just of things that I've seen God do in recent times in answer to my prayers and the prayers of others. I honour God in this way and I'm hoping that it might help my faith to increase little by little so that in my life I might know what it actually means in experience, not just in theory have that mustard seed of faith that can move mountains for God. Thanks for listening.